Hey there buddy, this is Piper here and today we're playing some more Rome Total War. So this is the second battle in the RV2 final between Sea Witch Tacitus and Greek Demetus. So if you haven't watched it, it was a victory for Tacitus. He was playing as Britannia and Demetus was playing as Greece. Now it's tax turn to play as Greece and Dio get his shot as Britannia. So go through the armies fast. If you watched the if you hadn't watched the, the last battle, it was a probably the longest battle I've ever watched. It was a, a skirmish army versus a, a pike based army. And this appears to be the same kind of concept. Tack has gone for six armoured hoplite. And the armoured hoplite are, I think they're four upgrade. They're three and four upgrade. He's gone for six regular hoplite. Those guys are three upgrade. And two militia hoplite. And the hoplite are three upgrade. He's gone for one, two, three, six Cretan archers. And these guys are 3 upgrade, so I'm assuming gold attack. So depending on the strategy that attack has, uh, there's a good possibility that he's gone for attack upgrades on all the pike. And some have defence as well probably. Check out Dio's army. He's gone for 4 Chone Swordsmen. And they are go gold. He's gone for looks like four slingers. Go gold. Six head hurlers. And I can't see that show upgrades because the chariots in the way. I think those guys are 4 upgrade and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 or 5 units of, 5 units of chariots it's like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2 British light chariots. So a really um, powerful skirmish army. Again, like the, the first battle attack is actually positioned quite close to the marshy area. I don't know the exact rules of this tournament. I know that it was CWB standard rules, uh, no red leg camping, max two hidden in the fort in the swampy area. But I don't know the exact sometimes the tournament has rules that stipulate you can be in the marshy area. But obviously, um Dio had a similar uh, formation and positioning in the, the first battle, so I'm assuming it's probably not in the rules. So we can probably check out the stats of the hurlers. The hurlers are four upgrade, so it'll be three attack and one defense. So we're going to speed this up. It's a very long battle, the last battle. So it's actually four units of chariots, one, two, three, four, and two British light chariots on the left side. Dio's going to charge four with the Chosen and Swordsmen. Tack is going to use the Archers. He's going to gain some good shots in there versus the, the light chariots. These guys aren't actually in Cantabrian Circle, so they've actually been caught quite badly from the Cretans. Dio is going to charge forward uh, the Chosen Swordsman. He's actually caught some of the Armoured Hoplite in loose formation. And Dio is going to charge forward the six Head Hurlers. And he's going to support the Chosen Swordsman with the Head Hurlers. So these guys are taunting, done their war cry. Got some chariots here, just ran straight through them. And Tak is going to 
get a couple of kills on the chariots right there with his militia hoplites. So as I was saying in the previous battle, uh, the piker and loose formation, these guys just have to touch the, char the, the chariots and they'll go down. Tag is going to move forward the two units of hoplites, switch to flame and arrows and he's going to target the chariots. So those pike at the front have actually held up pretty well versus the chosen swordsman. Um, it looks like Dio's going to throw everything in here. Good use of the pike by Tacitus, getting a lot of good kills on the chariots. Uh, Dio is going to try and target the, the Cretans right here. And obviously the, the chariots can't win that, but it stops the archers from firing. And the chariots that Dio chose were Barbarian Warlords, so they're fairly powerful chariots. And I don't know whether she's going to throw more heads here. So Dio getting a lot of good shots in there versus the backs of the Armoured Hoplite. And the Cretans are, they're actually stationary. And I think they're going to probably want to shoot, start shooting the head hurlers. Tax is going to withdraw his armoured hoplite and he's going to use his Cretans to shoot the... what are they shooting at? So I think those guys are actually firing versus the, the head hurlers. Yeah, they're firing versus the head hurlers. The head hurlers are throwing uh, heads back and Tax is going to use his militia hoplites these are the cheap pike to try and get some kills on the head hurlers. And a couple units of head hurlers, I think that was probably a misclick by uh, Dio. Um, Tack was able to use his hot plates pretty effectively versus the hur hurlers right there. You see there's a couple of units of pike actually running away. Uh, he was going to pull around his one unit of Barbarian Warlord and that will cause some morale damage versus the Cretans and the Pike. Tag's going to use the Cretans to try and target the Barbarian Warlord. So I wonder whether, is that the General? The General is right there. That's why Tack is shooting that unit. He wants to kill the General. So the logic is you kill or write the general, preferably kill the general, that will cause a mass morale shock on the entire army. Because Dio has a lot of sinners left and these pike aren't actually go gold, they're only 4 upgrade. And some of these guys are actually just the regular hoplite as well. He's got his regular hoplite on the, the left flank. And Dio actually doing that a smart move, he's actually targeting the weaker pike first. Which will give his chariots a better chance to do more damage. But that's the enemy general actually has actually died, it looks like. So that's going to cause a big shock on the army, and it looks like it's going to be a win for Tacitus. Once Tack pushes forward with the pike, uh, these guys will waver and route. And these guys are distraught over the enemy numbers. They're gonna they've actually been destroyed. So that was a, a win for Tacitus. Obviously it wasn't as long as the previous battle. Um but I both players played really well again. I liked the selection tack chose with that army. Um I can't really see uh, Dio pulling this back to be honest. I think Tack's got too many pike, too many Cretan, uh, Cretans left. Um, still a bit longer to go actually. Um, but yeah, I've seen before, I, I like the army that Tack brought using so many hot plates and using the Cretans. Um, again, Tack's using the Cretans to shoot the chariots. I don't think Dio has any chariots left. And he's got one unit of hot plates actually returning. I think we're going to spe speed this up. Well, Dio's actually meant to defeat anyway. 
I think when the chariots actually uh, left the field or got destroyed, uh, there's not really much hope for the Slingers to win. There's actually another um, spectator who's actually Dodd again. Uh, that was a victory for Tacitus, plain as Greece. So thanks again for watching this uh, battle replay. Hope you've enjoyed the videos so far. Again, this was the second battle in a series of four. So stay tuned for the next battle. As always, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.